What's going on, everybody? Mike here, coming to you with a special edition of Fly Casual. The holidays are here, and it's that time of year that we take a little time off to spend with family and friends. That said, we will not leave you, the listener, hanging. No, my friend, we have a full lineup of episodes coming between now and New Year's, including some best of episodes, a little Fly Casual Glee Club, and a couple of brand new episodes mixed in for your listening pleasure this week. Given that we have no new movies on the horizon for a whole year, we have a fly casual retrospective. That's right, our review of The Force Awakens, the movie that kicked off the Disney era. We hope you enjoy this very special episode of Fly Casual. Let's get ready to ring call! Still trying to hold up the chat. I don't know if you can tell this. It's a thing. Don't strain yeah. yourself there, man. Hey, we just saw The Force Awakens. You did? Yeah. Did you? I think so. Yeah. Is it the one with Alvin? Right? Yes. 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 Yeah. And yeah. all Simon the rest and of the fabulous <laughs> chipmunks. Yeah. yeah and and Dave. Dave played, oh, yeah. played by. Cool, yeah. uh, no, you actually, Dave. That would have made it more interesting, I think. Yeah, it would have. If Dave, because then he could do his Mister Woodchuck voice while all the chipmunks are doing their chipmunk voices. <laughs> I think it's played by the guy who played uh, the dude from Mallrats. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Howie. <laughs> now would be a great time for our title graphic to come up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fly Casual. This is the special Whoa. Fly Casual. <clears throat> I got to put my hands down. I'm doing Did exactly what I told you guys not to up. do. Yeah. Fly Casual Force Awakens spoiler cast. It so, says it right there. <laughs> and I have a terrible cold, so that's going to add to the magic. Woo-hoo. Tonight, we are talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens, and we are talking about it completely unabashed. We're not holding anything back. We just saw it, what, like an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to be discussing it in full detail. This will be spoiler heavy. Spoilers. So be aware that we are going to be spoiling the crap out of this movie because we're going to talk about what we just saw. We've spent the last year and a half talking about what we were going to, what we thought we might see. Now it's time to talk about what we saw, yeah. right? So yeah. I'm your host, Mr. Corey T. Wilson. With me on my left is Mr. Josh from Kokomo. Hello, world. Oh. Yes. Uh. Yeah, you're wishing, Petrie, that I'd introduce you first so you could have stolen that from me. <laughs> you are absolutely right. <laughs> yep, sorry yeah, about that. That's all right. Over there, Mr. Steve Petrie. I got Petri. royalties on that. Welcome hey. back to the podcast. Hey. Yeah, everybody here, veterans. Uh, back here at Master Controls, Mr. Stephen J. Howie. What is up? Yep, and then hovering up, uh, hovering up in the corner there is Darth uh, Garrick, not Jay Hardy. Hey guys, hey man, he's okay. got. I got a. Hey, can I do a quick PSA? Uh, ooh, okay. Public service announcement. Oh, that's what that stands for. Right? Really concerned. Especially Just with before we get in the into the meat and potatoes of the TFA. Yeah. See what I did there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Anyway. Yeah. So that's a say, security dude, checkpoint. A quick you go shout through. out to Corey. Oh. And Howie and myself, who. Uh, but you not people, you, losers. Yeah, people call us <laughs> nerds, but you know what? Yep. Nerds can do sports. <laughs> oh, I see. I see yeah. where this is going. Oh, nerds I like sports. this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what I'm talking Garrick, about? Some fantasy Garrick, football. I d- oh, oh, oh. Oh, the FF? Garrett, Garrick, hold, 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 hold on. Garrick, hold on. Hold on. You're finalist. giving a shout out to the three of us, but not to these two who no. are also in our fantasy league, aren't they? No. Oh. Are they? I, Are they, they? Not they anymore, were, I don't think, because, they you know. They were before the playoffs began. Oh, yeah. Before the playoffs started, they might have been. Yeah. The playoffs. And then actually the first round of playoffs, weren't they still a part of it at that point? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't even yeah. remember now. Seems like ages ago. Well, Technically, I guess. Okay. I guess. <laughs> at least I got beat by a quality opponent. Let me, <laughs> let me say that. I didn't. I got beat by Howie. All right, <laughs> we are not gonna burn it. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna. We're here to talk about the Force Awakens. Yeah, we're not gonna burn any more uh, oil on, uh, on on fantasy yeah. football on on FF <laughs> when we could be talking about, as Garrick said, TFA, the Force Awakens. Full spoilers. We're going nuts tonight. Yeah. Okay, I now. am going nuts. Yeah, yeah. right now. Are you? I have I'm already nuts. Before before we really get deep into the conversation, we're going to go around the room, get some impressions, things like that, ask some questions, uh, take questions from anybody who's following in chat. Uh, fire them away if you want to hear us uh, talk about stuff. But one thing that I do want to say uh, uh, right off the cuff is of all the Star Wars 
that I've known in my lifetime, this was the most human. 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 Well, that was terrible. Gosh. I'm wow. sorry. I had yeah. to do it. I had to do That's it. A crossover. This was uh this was, uh, am I wrong? This was the most human Star Wars we've seen yet. Um, yeah. 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 There's Probably. a lot except of humans the in there. Yeah. Except for the Wookiee yeah, and then that one X-Wing pilot. Yeah, but he did, so it don't matter. Are you talking it's, about Greg? No. <laughs> Are you talking about Asti? Uh, is that his name? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. Well done then. Yeah. But no, uh, I'm talking about the fact that this movie, more than any of the other Star Wars movies, like when they might seem mechanical or forced, but other times they're like very bantery. This one just seemed like people. Yes, yeah. it did. Real people yeah. doing real things. Like there there were more tears shed in this movie than any other I've seen. Were yeah, there, right? myself. Really? there were a lot of, no, myself. in the film, there oh, were a lot of okay. wet <laughs> eyes and tears. There really were. I got you. Yep. There really yeah. were. So, Man as there tears. should be. Okay. So, having said that, we're going to go around the room. We're going to real quick. We're going to get just first impressions, like a sentence, okay? One sentence and no uh, no conjunctions allowed. That's my <sighs> stipulation. I, I can't guarantee that. I know. That's like, you know, my wife and my daughter both will just keep saying and until they're, you know, half asleep. So, okay. Or I am. Josh. One word. How about we do one word? One word? Okay. One word. And then sure. Maybe we'll raise the bar. That's what you're going to do. Just keep adding words. Every, <laughs> just keep going around the room. <laughs> I'm driving down Highway 40. Oh, my bagel. Pick. Up truck. Yeah, truck. no, okay. So we didn't really do that right at all. No. Josh, one That's word. Right. The Force Awakens in one word. Chills. Chills. I like it. Petrie. <laughs> How not <are> disappointed. <laughs> With a hyphen? Yeah. It's not a conjunction. <laughs> Childhood. Childhood. Uh, yeah. Interest. Thought provoking. Mm, That's is. what I go for. Yeah. And Garrick. Fun. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think I think my word would be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell what? yeah. I mean, hell no. That was a sad high five. Let's do that again. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it right. Line it up. Okay. Laser in. This Stay on target. Oh, man. There it is. The oh. microphone made me wake up. All right. We're going to do it right. Run. <laughs> there. It ah, son of a <sighs> gun. That's, That's how, how to... you know it's working. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's how you know you did it right. Yep. So, all right. Well, then let's dive in deeper. Okay. Yes. I'm putting it out there. Two words. Best thing. <laughs> Best thing about the movie? Oh, um, that's Ray. Ray, Ray? for me. Wow, yeah, Ray, Ooh, for me game. was I, I. You know, I was so unsure about the new cast. You just don't know. You're going to get them, and you'll be like, eh, they're not going to fit. The chemistry is not going to be there. You don't know. And yeah. uh, Ray was spot on for me. Oh yeah, she had every mark. Mm -hmm. I was a fan. Yeah, yep. I yeah, uh, I, I very much was impressed with Daisy Ridley. I I also was very nervous about what we were going to get and yeah like how he said hit all the marks i mean she did exactly what needed to be done but i mean come on this film we've been waiting forever for this right yeah yeah was this film the redemption movie was this film because a lot of people come into this movie they're looking for a redemption a lot of people don't like the prequels very much yeah. is this movie the redemption that that we've all been or at least a lot of us have been thirsting for yes yeah yeah, yeah. i'd say so well, we've had a lot of hype. Obviously, we do a Star Wars podcast. So we've been talking about it a lot. We've been anticipating mm -hmm. it a lot. Uh, and for for me personally, going into the movie and I, had, you know, nerves. I'm like, I don't know what to expect all day. I was just yeah. like, kind of a wreck. And, yeah, he called me up crying. Actually, his yeah. wife texted me, said he was curled yeah. up in a ball in a corner. Yeah, just he, he had to come over and talk me down for ledge. But yeah, um, it was only like a foot high. But you know, for me to go into there and be so entertained. Uh, and, and not be disappointed, I think, speaks volumes. Yeah. Going into this film, um, I was the same way. I was very nervous all day, and I was worried that uh, yeah. I was really worried that I was going to have one of those. I'll be after the movie, just be kind of like trying to find the positives, you know, like trying to like Searching seeing it and then going, yeah. all right, this is what I liked about it. So this is a good thing. This is a good. And there are, I mean, there are things I did not expect. There are a lot of things I did expect. There are things that I maybe would have liked to have seen done differently. But I walked out of the movie going, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't cheering. I wasn't, you know, like I wasn't like stripping off my shirt and yelling Woo! <laughs> and like snorting lines of coke or anything and like that. Everybody in our theater was every time a old character came on screen. Though. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, just an old character. Han walks in. Yeah, yeah. The biggest, no, I was too. No, biggest applause. <laughs> the biggest applause outside of, you know, the Star Wars logo at the front in our theater 
was the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. When the Millennium Falcon was shown on screen, everybody went nuck and futs. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. You know, the People biggest in thing my in theater, theater were cheering just for the Coke commercial they knew was right before the movie started. We didn't that's, see any commercials. Yeah, no that's, commercials. What, that's what our cheer was for, is when yeah. the movie actually was able to successfully <laughs> when they, start. When they actually managed to get the equipment working. We've said, now we've said we were worried about technical problems because there was, you know, the rumors that they weren't going to release like the digital codes to unlock the actual films until like, I know, I'm bad luck until like right before the movie started. We're like, I hope it don't run into any issues. I'm like, well, if it does, it'll be at our theater because I'm there and I make movies break somehow. And tonight was no exception. Our theater handled the lines, which were epic and huge. And we had all these people in costume and 501st members there and just everything. And and uh, it was handled so per- perfectly. This huge line. We all got in the door, got into our theater so quickly and it went so well. Until they cut the, you know, the digital projection pre-show thing and went like in the screen widens and they're getting ready to start the trailers. <laughs> and this dude comes out and he goes, hey, little guy in a Darth Vader outfit comes out. Hey, everybody, what's the thing we want you to do? If you're going to take any pictures, we want you to tag the theater and hashtag I was here because five, 10 years, 30 years from now, you better look back at that on Facebook and see because that'll still be going. <laughs> You know, and be able to see all that, blah, blah. And he goes, okay, I don't got any more material. We're having projection problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah. And so he goes, and so a, a few minutes later, he comes out. All right. We accidentally fed a 3D trailer into the 2D projector. And it doesn't like that. So, <laughs> so, and like, we're just, everybody in this pack theater is just going, oh my God. So he's like, so mm-hmm. instead you guys are going to get to start the movie 20 minutes earlier than everybody else. Yay! And we're like, woo, silver linings. And then they start the movie and the screen goes hot pink and the music starts playing and there's no image. Jeez. And then the image pops up on screen of the Star Wars logo and then it pops off screen and it's hot pink again. And they mm-hmm. just let the audio <laughs> play. The audio was still going, and the movie was not projecting, and we are all screaming, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> but everyone was so excited, and <laughs> everyone had had such a good experience leading up to that moment. Yeah, nobody was like, it, it nobody didn't was get a- ugly. Everyone, no. it just kind of added to the anticipation, like, here it comes, guys. Yeah. And everyone was quiet and ready and just secretly <laughs> hoping it that we were actually going to get to watch it, because <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Well, we're like, well, wait, we're 20 minutes. It was, it was like a laughable, anyway. it was a not- laughable torture, because... Yeah. They had, like Josh said, they'd done so well getting us in there. So it's not like everybody was all frustrated and angry about the crowds and everything. No, not at all, including me. And I hate crowds so much, mm. but I was totally content. Yep. And so when this happened, you know, people are just immediately yelling out goofy things. Like one guy's just like, free tickets, you know? <laughs> so in response to your original question, Corey, was, <laughs> oh, yeah. was it successful? It was because when I've, I left the theater, I wanted to know what happened next. And right. of course, the prequels, we knew where that story was going. Which is an inherent problem right. with prequels. But yet, whenever they would do any twist and turn in that story, you know, we knew where it was going. We didn't know how it was going to get there. Right. Nothing about the twists and turns in getting there made me think, oh, I did not expect that. And that was awesome. Yeah. It was all just like, okay, that was interesting. Now, how are we going to get there? Yeah. With this movie, I have more questions leaving than oh whenever I came gosh, in. Oh my gosh, so I many yeah. questions. Want more. I so many questions. I'm like, I need I need Wikipedia articles to guide me through this. <laughs> yeah. and they don't exist. Ah, no, they probably do by now. No, well, they don't no, because no. this information is not available. We've seen everything them. there is now. You mm-hmm. know, you can't go look up Supreme Leader Snoke and find out who he is. That's I, not a thing that's I out there. I bet if you right get now. on your phone right now, there's an entry. Well, I'm sure he's got an entry, yeah. but you're not going to find oh, yeah. out anything right. about him. I checked this morning, for example, Han Solo. I wanted to know, you know, most of us knew going into this that Han Solo was probably going to bite it. So I, I got, spoiler I, cast, I, it's okay. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. I got in Wikipedia. <laughs> so it's right there. I got in Wikipedia to see, okay, has anyone that saw this in Australia or Europe has this information already been entered? Yeah. And I don't know if they legally cannot put it up till say like a certain time tomorrow. But it's not there yet. Probably right. after midnight Pacific time. I, uh, I, I, honest to God, it's the same thing here. Like going in, all that hype, all that excitement, all that nervousness. I and I came out just going, yeah, that was the next chapter. That was the next chapter. It like was, I'm not walking yeah. up going, that was the film that changed a generation. It's not. It's the seventh entry in a series. <laughs> it was the Star Wars of this generation, right? <laughs> That's what they always say. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. And 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 it's not. It's not a, it's not a genre defining film. It's it, not that. But it was a Star Wars movie. It it absolutely yeah, was. Everything about Star Wars Star Wars is in this movie. Yeah. From, from the practical I mean the practical, I know, it's amazing. All the dialogue. Crazy. Yeah. 
The, we were. I think we had talked at one point. We were concerned about some witty banter, and it, you know, is this going to be a problem? Uh, yeah, we were worried about a humor. Yeah, that yeah. that was not absent from this. No, movie. no. we were worried about no. there not being enough humor, <laughs> and that was the other, last problem this yeah, movie yeah. could have. Possibly, I was laughing out loud, other end of the out loud yes. several times. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is absolutely. Uh, if someone were to tell me it was a little too uh, jokey, a little too bantery for me, I would say, mm, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, I'm, I'm, I would tell you if, if you know, if perfect cut that some of that stuff could have been toned down, but I don't care because it needed to be there. Better, yeah. better have a little too much than than none at all, or not nearly enough, or just really bad puns said by droids. Because oh, we've man. been down that road too. Well, well, you wouldn't know this time around because the only one what could understand BB-8, I guess, was Ray. <laughs> yeah. Or, and po. or po. Yeah, well, anybody that talked to BB-8 except for Finn, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Everybody true. could understand BB-8 except for Finn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, where are you guys at? And Finn just was... A- <laughs> Finn was not the brightest stormtrooper. and the- He would be the stormtrooper that <laughs> he would bump his that. helmet going underneath the blast door, wouldn't he? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you guys I, didn't I was, catch that? I was, he did on the first scene. <laughs> Coming down the rent. No, I'm kidding. I was I was completely surprised by Finn's character. I was not expecting him to be that kind of you know goof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was not expecting uh, yeah. that. I I really enjoyed that too. Was, An art trooper. He was not. He was like the guy. No, who, he's like the trooper. guy that transferred into your high school junior year and joined he the JV skirt. Joined the JV right. basketball team, but like was just a little too goofy and didn't take it seriously enough. You know, like, okay, was yeah. fun. he was fun. You wanted to hang out with him. No, I liked yeah. him. Yeah, I really liked him. It was just, it was like, you know, we're, we get told, well, these stormtroopers have been bred from birth or practically birth to be stormtroopers, and they're programmed. Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, and he is the opposite of that. He no, is the, uh, he in no way fits that in any way. Kurt, Kurt Russell in Soldier, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a Except reference. More than Fifteen words of dialogue in the whole movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This movie. No, this. Yeah, he was very goofy, very nervous. Uh, the nervousness makes sense given what he goes through at the beginning of the film. You know, they go mm-hmm. into battle and he's kind of like, this isn't cool. I'm having like, you know, I'm having like, would you settle down over there? <laughs> I'm getting weird looks from Petrie right now. Um, I was doing a movie thing. I was that's just the way he looks. Oh, doing the thing in the thing. movie yeah. where where Han's trying to nod yeah, over yeah. his shoulder. And he's sitting yeah, he's going, like, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Well, I'm trying to tell you something and you're doing a thing. There seemed like a lot of dialogue like that that was almost like they went completely off script and just, you know, say this however <laughs> you would say it when you're hanging out with your friends. Yeah, I well, got that. But, nah. but it was human yeah. because he doesn't know how to react to normal human situations. He's been bred from the moment he was born and put into the situation to be a machine, basically. So yeah. he doesn't know these common cultural references, the way that humans interact with each but other. But yeah, his so. response to them were so like nervous and high energy, whereas like every other stormtrooper is just like, a stormtrooper they're like you know cold and doing these jobs and stuff like that but but he was very much just like very very excitable and agitated and so it's kind of oh, like yeah i did something just flat out breaking him but i don't <laughs> i mean that to me that's kind of retconning what we saw i think what we saw was that for whatever reason he was just the goofy dude what didn't take to the stormtrooping very yeah. well yeah that's, fair. Trooping. Yeah. that's what it, it came across and that's, Troopers that's, a little, be trooping. that's a little goofy but i don't care because it needed that liveliness. It needed that that energy mm-hmm. and humor, you know, to an oh, extent. Yeah. If we got 125% instead of the perfect 100%, I'm fine with that. It's if we got 10 or 20% that I'd be really pissed off, you know? So the fact that all that's in there. And, of course, you know, it's not just Finn. Obviously, he carries a lot of it. But there's other things like, you know, Finn's telling BBA, hey, by the way, I'm totally lying to everybody about this thing, but can you get to my back, yo? And bb is kind of like, <laughs> bb is kind of like, yeah, whatevs. And he's like, all right, thumbs up. And BB-8 flips him off. <laughs> with a lighter. Yeah, that's what yeah. That was. BB-8, like, he gives BB-8 the thumbs up, and BB-8, the lighter little torch thing pops out of him that is very clearly not a thumbs up. Even though it's just a single thing, you know BB-8's flipping him off. Like, okay, I'm trusting you, butthole, but, you know. Well, it, it was more human. Even that action in the prequels, we have R2, like, peeing on something. That didn't see, <laughs> that didn't make it more human for us. It was just, no, that's ridiculous. No, especially when you yeah. have a droid peeing. So, yeah. I mean, in this droid movie... Peeing. It, 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 it why? Hit. Why would you bring that up? It's, it's flammable. <laughs> because wow. it was a thing that we got yeah. subjected to. I mean, we in the prequels we had such wooden dialogue, mm-hmm. and this dialogue was human. Yeah. And this movie also hit all the points that I was afraid it was going to hit, right. but it hit them in a human way that made them work. Right. So we have uh, Maz Kanata, and mm-hmm. she came across as human to me. 
Yeah, even though she's like a little plucky a alien, character. yeah, CG character. Yeah, let's talk about her character. Just best for a line, second. best line in the movie. Where's my boyfriend? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that Wookie. Oh man, that was the best line. Yeah, apparently this little tiny diminutive character has a crush on Chewie. Yeah. <laughs> Where's wow. my boyfriend? Yeah, that's my best Lupita Nyong'o there. Yeah, and that's that CG on her was amazing. Pretty great. Uh, pretty it's great. Good. You know, Garrick, I know that you had like, we were talking about the glasses and you're like, no, nah, none of that was really necessary. I will say at one point when she's, you know, fisheye goggling through her big glasses, it was channeling Donatello from the new Ninja Turtles movies uh. at me, which was a little off putting. But overall, I just really, really liked that character a lot. How do you feel specifically about it? Uh, I just, the CG, like with her and Snoke, yeah. I mean, there, I don't understand the reason for it. I mean, they had actor, very good actors. Well, you might not agree with Andy Serkis is a good actor, but I do. <laughs> they had good <laughs> actors to portray these people, but they decide somewhere along the line to just do a CG rendition of yeah. these characters. I, did, I don't understand that decision making. I don't think it was really necessary because the, the CG on Snoke was kind of bad. I, and, do you really think it was bad? Yeah, it like, wasn't. Like, it wasn't good. How was it bad? In what? what it wasn't ex- good. Ex- oh, not good. It, okay. it was fake. It took me out of the moment. It really? You so think it didn't? He, he looked. Fake. He looked too fake. I will say this: our projections seemed a little dark. I don't think our projections had like the full brightness going on. So any scene where they were talking to Snoke, the screen was very, very dark, and we were in the back row, which doesn't help. Yeah, and so, I, uh, I, I, I don't know that I got the impression that it was bad. You know, it it was certainly not like, you know. I, it's not something I say. Well, that CG wasn't up to snuff. I think it was. It was at <laughs> snuff level. It's just whether or not snuff is snuff enough. Yeah, you know? it just took me out of the moment. I just didn't. I, <laughs> I didn't understand the reason why they decided to go that route when they could just use a person. Yeah. Well, I, I for me personally, I think it adds more depth um, to to the universe. If you had everybody who was just human. Then you'd have Star Trek. Yeah. Well, and, well, and Star Snoke Wars. Was a big part probably was, human-ish. <laughs> well, I mean, we he, don't know. It's all messed up looking. Well, and that's the and, other thing, though. Like, you We have, don't know how big he really is. You he have be, diminutive yeah, little Mas Kanata, very diminutive little Mas Kanata, but then you have potentially, potentially very huge uh, Snoke, or at least that's the impression you're led to believe. And if they were just people in costumes, then you couldn't pull either of those things off. I, I think he's normal sized. If you've seen the breakdown of the trailer, whenever oh, he's really tiny, <laughs> yeah. he's this big. He's, he's actually in the cupboard. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Whenever you see the Knights of Ren, yeah. If you freeze that, one of the Knights of Ren that's standing in the back clearly has some sort of alien and maybe potentially CGI face. It's obviously hard to see. I don't know. You guys would have to go back and look at that. Yeah, it was. I was. I think it might have been Snoke. Now I don't know why he would have been in the back behind. Kylo Ren, but I I think that could be him. Yeah. So what are what are some of the other I mean some of the other high points of the film for you guys? You know, talk like you know the crowd cheered louder in our theater for the Millennium Falcon reveal. Which oh, yeah. wh- how great is it by the way that the Millennium Falcon has been mothballed yeah. for God yeah. knows how long yeah. because somebody stole it from somebody stole it from somebody who stole it from Han Solo and it's just been sitting in the desert with nobody paying any attention to it whatsoever. You know, it's like everybody's yeah. like, oh, that's just yeah. a piece of crap over there because it's been stolen so many times that no one knows that it's actually the Millennium Falcon or something. <laughs> like, they're just not aware, like, eh, whatevs. It's that piece of junk over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I really appreciated that. And then, uh, and then, yeah, as soon as, as soon as they, you know, escape, we have Finn and Ray escaping the Millennium Falcon. As soon as that happens, as soon as they got caught in a tractor beam, I knew immediately that it was Han and Chewie. You know, yeah, even, yeah, even and at one point, Finn even goes, "It's no, it's the first order. They've got us." I'm like, "BS, BS on the script." <laughs> Kasdan, you fraud! I knew right then that it was haunted. Yeah, that is not but a first order ship that no, you just got exactly. swallowed by. No, it's got red lights on it. It's first order. Oop. Finn is so led by fear <laughs> yeah. throughout the first two thirds of that movie, though, that yeah. anything that happens that poses any danger, he's afraid for his life. Yeah, it, it's yeah. the first yeah. order. Absolutely. That was another part where they brought in CG. And I didn't think they really needed to. Where's that? With those those beasts that escaped. I can't remember. The yeah, name of them. those no. were those like, the uh, tentacle beasts. You know, the, I joked the Rathcons or uh, yeah, what, Rathacons, 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 the Rathacons, the Rathacons. Yeah, the Rathacons. Yeah, we'll go the Rathacons. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there, JJ. Raptors. I see what you did. Raptors. I think they were. Well, how would they do that without CG? Well, I, I they didn't have to do it at all. 
I mean, um, I question squids, the, Howie. I think you they, get squids. I think you have to do something. Yeah, claymation. Mm-hmm. Now, they could have played it off as more of a unseen threat, you know, like horror movies and stuff do if they really wanted to. But that's not the pace they were going for. I will yeah. say that the, you know, tentacle monster balls was not my cup of tea. Yeah, the, no. the only time they were cool was when you really just saw their face sucking on the Millennium Falcon from the inside. Yeah, yeah. That, that was cool. Yeah, but. that was. But every other part of that was like, am throwback. I watching the most expensive manga ever? Yeah, it was a throwback yeah. to the Minox Tentacle there. Porn. The it was yeah, the, the sucking on the Falcon was definitely a Minox thing. But yeah, they're just like tentacle rolling through the halls with their big giant gaping maw teeth mouth yeah things. And, it was all very anime yeah. ish to me. Everyone else they grabbed that's they what all the half but then the one gets Finn and he's just rolling around with them like, oh, like hey, look, I found a new tool yeah. well he had his fill and he was taking him back to eat him later uh, this one's a yeah. different color than the rest do you know if it tastes different <laughs> oh man that's true don't, don't make it yeah I'm yeah. just saying I, my mind was trying to grasp at anything as to why it didn't immediately oh, eat him my, my, it, it, I, it looks different I immediately it, said it, it ate all the Asian guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> And the red guys. Josh, it's a valid point. Yeah. It, why didn't it eat? Well, I think it was know, Finn. for me. I immediately said, oh, I because I had that question right away. And then I'm like, well, he ate a bunch of other guys. You know, you're going to have your fill and then you're going to save some for later. You yeah. Know? He was going to go stash him away. In his little nest. <laughs> to me, that's I, I, I why would climb you? up a tree I mean, and gonna, stuff him up there. He was going <laughs> to she lob him up on the ceiling. You yeah. Know? Why not? Well, well, we have two possibilities. I don't think Han's been attempting to keep them well fed. Yeah. Uh, but also, they did eat most of his crew. That's true. They, <laughs> so I, it I, don't, was I don't know whether it was really implied that Han and Chewie's crew was eaten by these monsters. I don't that know whether they're good. really hungry or really satiated. Right. So yeah, that brings up a good point. Like, there's a lot of stuff that was implied that was an insp- uh, you know implicitly stated, which right. I I loved. Yes. Like just implying things. Like you didn't say, "Oh, they ate my crew." He easily could have said that. He's just like, ah. Eh. Well, our crew used to be bigger. Yeah. And you kind of like, I had a bigger crew. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. He goes, well, he goes, how did you capture them? And he goes, well, we had a bigger crew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like, ah, I get it. Maybe they yeah, left because they just can't. The writing on this was just incredible. Yeah. On the, the whole script. I think that was probably my high point. Yeah. I just yeah. slipped that in. And the over, I, I really like the overall story arc, too. What do you guys think about when Starkiller Base fired its first shot? Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. I was like, I got chills. I'm like, this is like much bigger than I th- thought. <laughs> In yeah. one shot, Star Killer Base took out what, like five planets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It can mul- It can fire multiple projectiles across, you know, the galaxy Space? at multiple things. Yeah. Uh, I, or unless it traveled there, because it has to be able to travel because it eats stars. It is mm-hmm. the killer of stars. Oh, it doesn't destroy stars. It consumes them to charge and then spits them out at planets. So that was different oh. than what we expected. So well done, Josh. <laughs> I get it. Now. Josh just now got it. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, I, I I I guess part of me thought like, you know, it just spews this laser into space. Hyperspace. You know, basically what it did was it took uh Nero from the Star Trek reboots laser and turned it upside down and shot it up instead of down. Uh, <laughs> it was red matter. Uh, it's that what you're no, the the drilling laser before they put the red matter in. Are you even paying beam. attention, Gary? But that was no, only one no. planet. But, you lost me at Nero. But that's what. But I mean, it, it has to travel through hyperspace or at the, at those speeds to be able to reach those other planets in the time that it did. I didn't get a feel for the 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 giant scope and breadth of it because I was like, it looks like they just shot it across the sky and there were some little tiny planets that blew up. But I know that's not what happened. It just I didn't I felt like there could have been more done there to see it like like the laser or the projectiles going up and then like somehow like a wormhole or something tearing Well, they I, I mean, know. they watched from, from uh the planet that uh Maz Kanata's Yeah, yeah. Base it, was this on. can be seen from right. all over yeah. the quadrant it would appear. I I really mm. appreciated the pacing of that. I know it's science fiction, but it's also fantasy and in my mind, even though it might make sense from a science fiction perspective that it would be moving slowly because it's going over such great distances. Right. But in my mind, I think, oh, it's shooting a laser. It's just like any other laser. We says, you poof and explode like right. what we see. And, you know, the first. Movie. But that's not it. We actually but see projectiles we see, going we through see space. It moving slowly and it built more tension for me. And the music was able to participate in what was happening at this yeah. moment. 
And so by the time it reaches its target, it had developed so much more emotion for me than if I had just seen. Yeah. You see the people that are witnessing this doom, you see it in their faces. And I appreciated the pacing of how slow that developed. So did it blow up Coruscant? That's the question. When they fired fired this thing, they said, we're taking out the New Republic. Uh, And they fired it and they named the system. It was not Coruscant. I but think it was Honiger. <laughs> but I, I want it to be Coruscant. Take that, Nogri. Yeah. It, 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 at first, we thought that, I mean, they blew up five planets, and one of them looked Coruscant-ish. Yes. And so yeah. we were like, whoa. And, and you know, traditionally, EU people, and probably even a lot of followers of just, like, movies and the Clone Wars and stuff, would think of Coruscant as the, you know, galactic center. It was the, you know, mm-hmm. the capital of the Republic, the Empire, and then in, old, in olden times, it was the capital of the New Republic. We do know from the new continuity that it is part of the New Republic, that they took over Coruscant at a point, but we don't know that they ever moved the Senate and everybody there. Well, And I mean, so we don't know if that was Coruscant or not. They definitely didn't name it that. They called it a system right. that was that had Coruscant like nowhere in it, but it was five different something. planets. So they could be saying that Coruscant was part of a system with these different planets because it's never been, a, maybe never been explicitly stated in the new canon that that is not the case. Right. So I, there's a lot of questions. I now. have a theory yes. about this. Oh, do do tell. Well, whenever it exploded, we didn't get that scene of Leia going, oh, I just could feel a thousand people being destroyed. The reason for that is because it's Only the Senate, thousand. and assuming that Jar Jar is still participating <laughs> in the Senate, uh. Jar Jar being destroyed <laughs> in that moment balanced out the repercussions, and so there was no response within the Force. Thanks, Josh, That's for taking that for much that. time to say that. You get, you get a hit. You and, get a punch. Uh, Jar Jar is Luke. Punch. Yep, Jar Jar is Luke. That's what we've right. read out. I had to get the yep. one Jar Jar reference out of the way. Yeah. He's a Sith Lord, right? Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, well, he's Snoke. What he jumped is, to he's mind with ears me, tucked behind his head. And granted, I'm basing it off EU lore, but it looked like, you know, the planets were fairly close in proximity, unless that was just cinematic, like, oh, here's all the different things at the same yeah, time. Yeah, no, they were all visible in a system, like, real, real close to each other. Which brought... Yeah. Uh, real, real close. Which brought Corellia to mind. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that that was not the intention. You well, know. that's where I went with but, it. So. But yeah, no, I mean, all the thought, like, it was those planets were really close together because they wanted to show it to you all in one shot. Right. They didn't want to take five different shots to show you five different planets getting destroyed. It was kind of like, yeah, right there. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You know, and it was kind of like, right. okay. Yeah. I, I felt like they could have been, I w- I'm happy that they weren't grandiose about everything, but I felt like they could have been a little more grandiose about that. Now we are really down in the weeds right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And let's we've not even the covered the movie. We've not even Get covered some weeds. of the biggest stuff, okay? <laughs> so let's Big jump stuff. right to the heavy, heavy spoilers, okay? Oh, Do you geez. have the spoiler no. music to play? Spoilers. Hot, no, I don't have any spoiler music to play. Oh, okay. I can play the hot, hot rumors music, but um <laughs> they, we have that? Yeah, they ready? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, We're not gonna do that anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh Han Solo killed by his son. Oh Wait. murdered by his son. Don't really consider it a spoiler. Yeah. Mm. I must have been well, in the bathroom we, for that one. Well, we all uh, we all surprise. predicted this. We all predicted yeah. this. But right. Yeah. I, I knew it was gonna happen the whole time. Yep. Still Han, still surprised me. Han dies well, in the end. They very intentionally, <laughs> it would seem, right up to the moment where he kills him you're thinking that he's not going to because they're, 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 they're literally baiting you going, all right, now's the time where Han dies. Look at Han making a bad decision. Oh, he's walking out there rather than saying, come here, come over here where it's safe. He's not doing that. He's walking out to him. Oh, he's walking up to him. Oh, total chance for death. But Oh, redemption language, tears in eyes. Daddy, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> well, Snap I, I even knew it was going to happen that whole time. Oh, yeah. Man. I knew well, it was going to happen the whole time, but yeah, I thought, oh, he, then he's going to grab the lightsaber away and do some grandiose, like, no, blah, 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 here's my line, and then cut him down or something. But it was all of a sudden just like, Psh. Yep. No, he just yeah. skewered him. Yeah. I got to say, I got to say, just- down to the last second, because he was handing the lightsaber over to Han, but then he couldn't let it go. So is it the pos- Is it? Yeah, it was It was this, or like this. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, the hand was go. That got kind of creepy at the end there when you were shaking bit, your hand really hard. An interesting Josh, thought from shake, uh, JJ twist. killed my hero. Yeah. Said uh, <laughs> good username, <laughs> yeah. appropriate username. Uh, loved loved it up until they killed Han. I uh, can't believe the rumor is true. 41, 41 year old father of two and cried like a little girl. My yep. nine year old son says he doesn't like Star Wars anymore. Oh, I am devastated. Oh, 
that's got to hurt. Props, yeah, props on I, that name before anybody rough. else. Holy cow! Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if, if if Twitch is that exclusive. Um, but yeah, that 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 is really rough, especially especially for a kid who really would look up to or idolize the character. I don't know how I feel about when I when I'm going to let my four year old see this movie and how she's going to react to that because she is very inquisitive about death. She takes death very personally. They gave us a PG thirteen rating, it did. Uh, and, yeah. and justifiably that. so, right? Um, Absolutely. So you know, it, it's one of those things where. Yeah, Star Wars isn't for little kids yeah. anymore, kind of a thing. I guess my question then is, well, is is JJ going to kill Han Solo, or are we just going to let time kill Han Solo? Because one of them's going to do it. You know, either they kill him in the movie, yeah. or he's going to die in real life at some point, and he's just not. There's no more Han Solo anyway. Well, if you take a, <laughs> if you take Star Wars away completely. Harrison Ford has a lot on his plate right now. He sure does. <laughs> sure. And, and, so. dying, and dying is definitely in the mix for, for him for what he has on his plate. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, he can't he can't stick around forever. So do you want him to go out trying to do the right thing or do you just want him to fade into obscurity, man? I, I, I it, it, it's a gut wrenching moment. Oh, literally, oh, yeah. I guess. Sorry. No. But, <laughs> but it, yeah. at the same time, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, he was he died stepping out of his comfort zone. Like he died putting himself on the table, not fighting his way out, not do, you know, not getting lucky in gunsling. And he died dropping everything and trying to say, well, yeah. trying to be sentimental. And, with and so much was being said without yeah. being said during that whole sequence. I mean, even up to before he fell, you know, putting his hand up on the Kylo Ren's face, you know, saying, yeah, I, I, was, but I took that as him uh, saying, I still love you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. In every every movie that makes me cry seems to be like a father son type moment. I wish that I had seen more of the development. <laughs> Don't make any fallout jokes, Garrick. I wish that I had seen more of the development <laughs> of Han Solo's relationship with his son in this movie, so that that would have had more of an emotional impact for me. Yeah. But yet it was still there because that theme is so deep within me somehow in my yeah. genetics. Well, that- it, it, this doesn't mean that he's necessarily out for good. For, first of all, we didn't really necessarily see him die. But uh, I think I think I think we pretty much. I mean, this, this not, came up in the van, and I'm I not, laughed. I'm not really <laughs> believing that, but yeah, there's no, there's always like giant, he's, he's flashbacks not a Sith and things and like he that. Fell into a pit. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not I know. Sure how that works. Yeah. Han yeah. Solo died the death of a Sith. He fell into a pit. Uh, <laughs> what a way! Right? So that might make him, re, uh, you know, revive. More I don't know, but, um, no. I you know, I still there could be some backstory that's shown to us in future films. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And one, they're going to get a full feature film about Han Solo when he's younger. So that's around the corner, too. But yeah, it's 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 a rough thing to deal with. But, you know, for us, it wasn't a surprise. It's something that we, that we've been very much expecting. And it's funny because we based it on all the wrong reasons. You know, it was actually based on her crying over Finn in the snow that we thought that that was Han in the snow from the images in the trailer, stuff like that. And it wasn't. Han never made it back out to the snow. But uh, but yeah, that was a really really heart wrenching moment, yeah, I, and, I, and I definitely sympathize for people who need to like try to justify it with their kids and stuff like that. That's rough. I you know as as a father of a little girl, uh, for me, what happened when it hit me the hardest was when Ray touched Luke's lightsaber and goes into all the zippy, you know, uh, what are we psychometry, whatever it's called, flashbacks <laughs> and stuff, and and she has a flashback of when she's a little girl uh, stuck on Jakku screaming, "Don't leave me! Don't leave me!" as a ship took off. I almost like just melted out of my seat into a worthless puddle on the floor. Like I was just heartbroken by that moment. Mm, so yeah. yeah, I can, I know when I see, when I watch this with my daughter, she's going to immediately go on, why did they leave her daddy? Why did they leave her? And all I'm going to be able to say is daddy doesn't know yet. <laughs> they <laughs> yeah. didn't tell us jack crap about that. that. that that's, and that's we kind of interesting. There's a lot of, you. there's a ton, like we said earlier, there's a ton of questions. Yeah. Uh, and, and one of, one of the chats was like, there's, basically alluding that you know why did luke leave a map right to where he is at you know <laughs> what, what, what caused r2d2 to wake up i mean he just, broke it in pieces see a good point it's a lot like the map with no names in the grail diary <laughs> <laughs> it's like why do you do it well you know i might forget yeah. Yeah, yeah he wrote it down in case he got lost <laughs> yeah that i don't know there is so much this movie raised more questions than it answered which sad. i love like, josh like, said this earlier yeah, I love sadly that. but good like it sucks, but in the long term, it's good that now we have more things that we want to know about. That one of the very first questions in the movie is, "Who are Ray's parents?" It's one of the oh. first things that comes up in the film. 
she's waiting for marriage. She's been left behind. And then throughout the film, I got to go back. I got to go back to that horrible life that I lived because if I'm away for too long, oh, didn't that then, not then, just then, you know, get you in the gut? My right little there? orphan Annie parents might show up at the orphanage oh. and see Miss Hannigan oh, and I yeah. won't be there anymore. And I'll be at Daddy oh. Warbucks house and then they won't be able to find me. That's, exa- that's an Annie theme right there. Yeah. And uh, but her parents are just end up being rooster and some weird tramp off the that's street. True. We don't <laughs> want that. Good. Yeah. It'd be, yeah, exactly. But I, I I, that is a question that n- never got even remotely answered. I mean, there's, down to the last a... <laughs> 30 seconds of the movie, you're waiting for Luke to turn and face her and just call her by name because Jane, you're uh, thinking at this point Jane. that <laughs> <laughs> you got to give up on it now, man. We can't no. keep chasing the Jaina and Jaina dream, man. Jason and Jaina dream. Oh, but, uh, but he doesn't. They don't say he doesn't say anything. They stare at each other really awkwardly until the, <laughs> directed by J.J. Abrams pops in. So, yeah, yeah, just holding out the lightsaber with Luke just looking at her like, what the hell? What? Mm, what? I was sleeping. What? Standing I was up. sleeping, yeah. standing up. What do you want from me? <laughs> I have bed head. I have some theories. Well, on, on First of all, he, is. he already knew that she was going to show up. <laughs> Luke, come on. Oh, yeah. Luke, come yeah. on. Come on. Yeah, Luke can tell the future like all the time. He's yes. like Yoda now. <laughs> I mean, I, I I have two theories on who Ray's father is. Yeah. Uh, this one, isn't a rumor cast. This is a spoiler No, cast. I mean, one's, well, one's the obvious. <laughs> yeah, get it straight, man. Everybody's going to say it's Luke. If he's that's right, it's a spoiler. Yeah, and that easy, should make Garrick happy because then uh, Mara would be mama. The one you're being teased oh, with throughout the yeah. whole movie is that uh, possibly, yeah. That's a stretch. The one you're being teased Episode with throughout eight, the whole, Mara. The one you're being teased with throughout the whole movie is that it's Luke. Like to the point where right. when she touches his lightsaber, she has all these flashbacks and stuff like that. So that's what it's leading you to believe, but when we were they talking don't about reveal this it. And I feel like if they were leading us that hard to it and that's what's going to be the case, wouldn't they have just revealed it at the end? Right. Count Dooku. No, go home. Well, we were talking about it after the movie, and he, somebody, I that Howie, I think, or maybe Corey, they made a joke about Quinlan Voss. I, I didn't make a joke. No. Well, it wasn't a joke. Howie was proposing it because she had the psychometry, which, you know, right. Quinlan Voss had that And thing. it popped into my head of, and of he, somebody and else who he has bumped that. uglies with uh, Saz Ventress, so. Yeah, but okay. she died. Oh, spoiler. No, she didn't die. Oh, wait, this spoiler. Yeah, she did. Did she uh, die? Yeah, she died. <laughs> Before I told you, who lived? Did. Who lived? Spoilers. Anyway, uh, it no. popped into my head who, who else had that ability. He had the that baby. Then. And, he uh, had the baby. That's fans of. Uh, hey, Petrie. Yeah. So, who was your other theory? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shut them up. Who was your other theory that could possibly be the per- parentage of Ray? You watch Rebels. Yep. Yeah. Rebels. Doesn't uh, Rebels. Rebels. Yep. Ezra has that ability. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Dark, yeah. dark-haired Ezra. Uh, Ezra Bridger could, and that seems like a real big stretch. It seems like, like, I think, I think most movie fans would be like, Oh, you're trying to bring your stupid cartoon into this. But the big emphasis has been made. All of it's canon now. It is all part of one canon. It right. all exists together now. And can you imagine the marketing ramifications? <laughs> well, yeah, and, and, yeah. And to, to back it up during, during the movie, and, and one of our listeners has texted this too. Um, I was like, okay, is Han her father? Because the looks that he was giving her. Oh yeah, you know, I wanted were like, to be. Oh yeah, just like you said, it was. It was like, uh, like he looked guilty. Like yeah, I, and and at the end when she gets off the ship, you know, and Han's dead and everything, Leia goes up and gives her a hug, and while they're hugging, she does this thing where she nuzzles her nose into Ray's neck, and the music that played at that good. moment. Yeah, it, 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 the music ramped up a little bit right there, and Josh and I both looked at each other right then, going, uh, well, it didn't okay, play Leia's something's thing. going on there. But here's the other thing. Mas Kanata found knew about Ray's story and she, because she just said, well, uh, Solo just told me your, your whole story. Ray doesn't know her own story. Ray hasn't told Solo Han Solo her story. But Maz Kanata says right then, yeah, Solo filled me in. I know. I understand. And but no one told the audience. No. <laughs> you know, we're like, well, wait a second. So so I think right there it, we were told and I could be wrong. Maybe I'm writing too much into it. But I, I, it seemed pretty plain to me that Han knows all about Ray. Yeah, and right. that which would oh, explain yeah. those knowing glances and those mm-hmm. those like him being like really surprised yeah. that she's so tech savvy and stuff like that. Well, which might even playing. lean back to Luke again. Really, you're Luke's kid. You sure don't act like Luke's kid, right? <laughs> you're cool. Yeah, I, I like you though. You're not whiny. <laughs> <laughs> you don't it's even need Mike's power converters. Here. You just bypass the negative power coupling or whatever. Right. It was. The motivator. I don't remember. 
The they compressor. used a lot of tech the jargon. Compressor. Compressor. There was a lot of tech jargon. This this movie was more was more like Star Trek than any other Star Wars movies. <laughs> but they, they threw it in been. as humor. Yeah, in some right. respects, I would say when they're coming up with their plan uh, to well, attack Starkiller Station, yeah. which was all of 45 seconds of, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> And I was like, okay, <laughs> it sounds like a plan. Yeah. Head to your ships. It's you know, not a trap. I'm pretty sure that Greg g- 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 turned around and went, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> I wish he had. But uh, honest honest to God, they, I, I, I don't know where I was even going with that. I just completely derailed myself. But it was yelling Leroy Jenkins. It completely wipes uh, me. We're talking about humor <laughs> and the tech stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. And you're In saying that no. conversation, they dropped so much tech jargon. That was not humor. It was just a bunch of MacGuffins, a bunch of verbal MacGuffins to justify. I well, wouldn't say there's a bunch. There's just a couple. Yeah, but it was like the entire point of, oh, well, of oh, a, geez, shoot uh, this thing and that thing will work. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty that's much like, that would oh, better. If, that thing, if that thing can eat up a whole sun, then I'd it's got to have, have, have some kind of this. And I'm like, oh, really? You have a degree in sun devouring? Good. Good yeah. to know. Good. You came along there, Chuck. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that. Little I'd bit. rather I'd rather them give names to things than others than just say ah oh, just just do stuff. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. agree. Maybe thing. maybe the delivery in that scene if, well, it, if it had been rushed. a little different. It was I might comple- have. Yeah, it was completely rushed. And, yeah, and that scene I under- was that scene was. Bad. I I understand yeah, they rushed through that whole thing just because they didn't want to bore everybody. They were they had so mm-hmm. much movie. Yeah. To get to and, and so much action. Yeah. There was yeah. no first act in this movie. There was no like Star Wars <laughs> where it's like 45 minutes before anything exciting happens. That's uh, not know, Vader, this. you know, storming the ship was per- yeah, pretty that's cool. Like but I mean, after sure. that, it's like a 45 minute drag. And don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, I a, love guy that get, movie, a guy get his arms cut off at, you know, at a 45 Cantina. minutes later. But R2 gets shot. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, a thing. That Anyhow. Uh, the this movie had none of that. It had none that of the low points. It was explodes. just constantly going uh, uh-huh. super fast the whole time. And so they get to the scene where it's like, oh crap, we have to have people come around and come up with a a strategic planning session. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Audiences don't like that kind of stuff. Audiences are dumb. Yeah, you're right. Let's just say some stuff as fast as we can and go ready break, and then run out and everybody jumps up and hits the sign over the stairs and run out onto the field and. You know, start throwing Gatorade at each other. I guess that was that was a very weak point in the film where it was just kind of like and and I yeah the people just walking around and gesturing with like oh here's my if it has a thing it has a thing and like you could tell the good actors from the bad in that scene like the bad actors who were like these little secondary tertiary characters were trying to deliver their lines in the most effective memorable way whereas the good actors are just standing there and their hands are planted and they're just you know delivering their lines like they should be and I was like oh that was rough. That was rough, and of course, that was more Greg g- 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 than I ever want, ever, it'll, ever. It'll probably be. I could have awesome said a little book. bit more. Uh, yeah. It was. It was better uh, than it could have been with Greg. G- 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 that's true. That's true. That's absolutely <laughs> fair. Yeah. Porkins Jr. Yeah, Porkins. Yeah. Jr. Greg Grunberg. Uh, you know, you might know from Heroes fame or whatever else uh, he's been in. But yeah, uh, you were saying he's Porkins Jr. I decided to call him Beardens. Because it's yeah. like, look, the guy with the beard, he's the bearded guy. He Beardens. Be I just enjoyed his screen time because I knew it. Corey hated it. Yep. Yep. I yep. wasn't the only one. Josh was doing the same thing. I didn't even thing. notice him like, at oh. first until you, you said something. You made a noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was actually flipping off the screen double deuce action. And it wasn't on purpose. I just, I could, I involuntarily was making farting noises. Oh. Kind of like when we role play Star Wars? Hmm. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are real farting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, some of yeah. them, some, most Those of them, probably real stinky. Yeah, I, uh, I honest, honest to goodness, I'm just, I, I, I can dissect all these little things that I think could have been done better, but that's a good thing when I, when my, my inner analyst turns on. Yeah, it's because I want to tear something apart because I liked it. I, I want to dissect yeah. it and pull it all apart. Otherwise, I just be going, I, I, it sucked. That character sucked. I just, oh, this thing sucks. sucks. I don't feel that way at all. Yeah, no, I feel really good. Well, I mean, what yeah. what did you not like? We haven't talked about that. Was there anything that anybody didn't like? <laughs> There's so much, That's all we've talked so much about. to talk about. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. okay. Uh, I got to throw it out there. I know something that uh, that Petrie didn't like. Oh, well. Psh. Ben! Petrie. Come on. Yeah, we hadn't talked about Ben yet. Kylo Ren is Ben Solo. Solo. I liked it. E fans of the EU may remember that uh, Luke Skywalker had a son with Mara Jade by the name of Ben Skywalker. Yup. That's not a thing no mores. 
It could no, be. He, ben is his middle name. Actually, what if what if his Jason's name is Kylo Ben name. Solo? Jason, Jason no. Ben Solo. Jason, oh, Jason Ben. Solo. Jason Ben Solo. Yeah. He went by his middle name. Like he's weird. like like uh, uh what is it? Thraken Sal Solo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bringing the EU back in and yeah. pounding it hard. Well, either they might you know bring in the Darth and call him Darth Jason. Darth Jason. Darth Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's how they could do it. <laughs> but he's not a Sith. No. Um, yeah, Ben is he was Ben Solo. And uh I I heard somebody, someone when they when he yelled Ben, I went, huh? And someone went, really? That was me. <laughs> that was <it>, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it might have really? been. That was me. <laughs> I was just kind of like, you had to use that one? Right. Yeah. Spe- Which I said, so naturally we're going to find out that Ray's real name is Mara. <laughs> we're going to take random character names from around the EU and assign them to totally different people. I just don't get the choice. Leia had no connection with Ben. <laughs> no, she never met him. Yeah, yeah, she sent him a message. Yeah. He was a friend She's of her father. Okay, she sent him a message, she, yeah. and he was there what, when she was born. Her dad knew him. <laughs> yeah. For, forget episode three. She she knew Ben. No. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry for all of you Mara Jade fans, but this might mean that Mara Jade is no longer a thing. Yeah, you're no it, longer. It might a be thing. mean that JJ <laughs> Abrams is honoring parts of the EU that we love, but bringing them in in a different way. So we no longer have Jason and Jaina, but we have these. What? Well, we don't know why well, he's pay named attention, Ben. Attention, man. So Mara is there. Ray's may be mom. a very good reason he's named Ben, and we just don't know it yet. Yeah, maybe well, even though the fact that he looks like Harrison Ford, he's actually Luke Skywalker's. I don't know. There is a good reason he's named Ben <laughs> because he's named after Old Ben Kenobi. Yeah, I mean, no, it is. If, if any of the names that you're going to pick, if let's say Luke had no kids, it makes sense that maybe one of Leia's kids was named after you know her brother's you know savior, more or less. So I could. See, is it raining down here? Am I actually sweating? We'll find out. Yeah, um, I thought you were looking yourself. up at the so chat. That, so, yeah. uh, Han and Leia's other kid, they, they named that Yoda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. This makes perfect okay. sense to me. Right. Yeah. I honestly, I, 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 I this, this movie had some gut wrenching moments, but I felt like this was the, I'd like Josh said, this is the next chapter. This is the next one. So, what do you guys think about Ray using the force with no knowledge? Hmm. Oh. Awesome! She's a quick learner. <laughs> she is that. The longer, I, I the longer suspect she's been using the force her. her whole life, but just didn't realize it. Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. With her affinity for technology, she seems to have an inherent ability to go. I've never even looked at this thing before. Click, and it works. And everybody's like, the whole time they're like, "How is she doing that?" There has to be some sort of force thing where oh, she's got some sort of like yeah her piloting skills like with the Falcon dig- right yeah. when she took that turn and dipped into oh, the sand and, like and- did the upside <laughs> down oh, yeah. dive yeah. and, oh, and yeah. crazy Ivan man killed the killed the, the engines Ivan, and just like yeah. fell crazy Ivan nice and and Finn yells how'd you do that and she's like I don't know you know yeah that, yeah like she definitely has been using it in some regard she definitely has force matrix. Force Matrix. <laughs> she's fighting someone and then she's like, wait a second, closes her eyes, downloads Jujutsu, yeah. and then pops up. <laughs> I know, Kung Fu. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But yeah. You, you get the impression that if, if you know, she just had a couple more hours after that, that she was probably a Jedi Master. At probably. The, at the rate that she was developing <laughs> Accelerating, skills. Yeah. Right. Well, I also, but it gave I think, me the chills. I, I loved think, it. I think her mind it was more innocent at her age than maybe some older you know, people would be. And it lends itself again to maybe the fact that she is Luke's daughter. Maybe she did have some force training when she was a kid and just forgot it all when she was really little. That could be too. Maybe she was around a lot of force users. I mean, she could still be Vader's grandbaby. But to to finish my thought, her being innocent, she might be more open to using the force because she's not bogged down by, you know, her thoughts of what things should be and have to be. True. She's got a very narrow worldview, quote unquote. Yeah, well, you know. she she uh, she these aren't the droids you're looking for. That stormtrooper. Yeah, that it didn't work the first two scene. or three times. Yeah, but that's a pretty quick practice. <laughs> Would you say? But her first <laughs> force scene gave me so many chills. Which was, and I won't reenact it here with Corey. Yeah, like oh, I'm reenacting. Her. Oh, when but she when she like, yeah, whenever he's trying to peel the information from her brain, and yeah. at first she's taking oh, it. Oh man! And yeah, then, when Voldemort the, the, attacks her with the killer spell, but yeah. then she rebounds it and it draws yeah. out all the memories. Mm-hmm. The music was. You, Occumency. This, yeah. this movie had music for the force. So you'd hear you'd hear the force go 
Yeah, the force definitely had sound. It effects. worked for me, but you see her begin to resist that, and she begins to focus. Well, the, yeah. and her her anger begins to build. Yeah, and, and they and they you, portray you so much. You see that moment of fear. I wouldn't in call him. it anger. I call it intensity. Well, and they yes. portray so much with with just music and action, no words. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did that a lot throughout this whole movie, which I really enjoyed. And that was one of my you know oh. favorite scenes that they did that Loved with that was scene. the yeah. fact that yeah. You, you you knew what was going on. You didn't have to be told, and um, and the fact that she just realized. I think that's when she first started to realize. Well, okay, I got something over this guy now. Well, the way that it flipped the tables because she's saying, "Get out of my brain, get out of my mind," and then all she's of a not sudden, actually saying that because that would have been really lame. But yes, <laughs> then all of a, well, she said something like that. <laughs> she did. Yeah, yeah. She um, get out of my mind. I, I don't remember quotes, but then and let me continue to fake quote bad things but then she turns that table and she begins to say you're so afraid that you're never going to be as powerful as vader oh, yeah hmm. she yeah went, he goes, she, oh, basically she went, head. she went straight for his nuts and just like <laughs> that also is not a thing that happened him kicked a little him really bit. hard with yeah. the force not a lot of nuts kicking no anyway no. hit the weak spot we'll say yeah yeah she did she found his yeah. his Softest well, spot. Okay. Immediately. You immediately knew from the beginning of the movie that Kylo Ren was a badass. Right. Uh, from that first time when he stopped that <laughs> no. shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, I that forgot all crazy. about that. Oh yeah. my gosh, the blaster that shot. Was, that was amazing. Poe takes a shot at Kylo Ren on Jakku. He turns around. You see the shot from the trailer where Kylo Ren spins around, was throws it, his hand was out. Was talking to other people, wasn't he even paying attention. Throws his hand out. And the blaster bolt stops in midair. Doesn't get deflected. Doesn't get absorbed. Doesn't disappear. Stops and stays superheated yeah, in midair. And Poe's walking for, right past it. And for like at five it. or ten minutes. It's yeah. just hovering there <laughs> until finally Kylo Ren goes, I'm done. And then just lets it hit a thing. And what? I, at first, I didn't know what to think about that. I was like, holy crap. This guy's got to be powerful. And at the same time, I was like. Would it just congeal into a ball? Why is it streaked out like that? Why am I? Oh, it's not science. It's science fiction. Shut up. But then, <laughs> up, I mean, brain. I was just like, yeah, shut up, brain. But then I was just totally enthralled that the dude could just stop a blast. You're not as powerful as Vader. Vader be like, it's oh. light. It's light. You're just stopping the light. In that but moment. yeah, he's just like froze the, it this throws is, it in midair. To, to me, this is the first time we really got to see a re- I, I don't know. It feels like the first time we got to see a really powerful Dark, dark force, dark user. force user, yeah. and I'm, I'm sitting here like, yeah, this is awesome. Do more than lightsaber tricks or lightning throwing. Yeah, and yeah. And, yeah. and he doesn't just choke a guy from a distance. He lifts him up and yeah, brings him. Yes, yeah. he fist. sucks his neck into his hand from across the room. <laughs> yeah, or completely stops Ray like she can't move at all. Right, and he's not even doing it. He's not even using his hands. He's just like looking at her. So, what do we think of the concept of the fact that Kylo Ren? He's not a light Jedi who's being tempted to the dark side, which we've seen a thousand times across the EU and canon. He is a dark Jedi or a dark force user who is being tempted toward the light. Yeah. And and all the way, by the way, not does not go toward it in the end. I mean, the whole bait is, oh, he's salvageable. He's savable. He's redeemable because he's tempted away from the dark. Uh Oh, well, that was a misstep. <laughs> that's, that's not going to pan out I mean, well. I, I got the impression he started his training on the light side. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he, he did. Was, I mean, he was, was he was part of the uh, the the, the re- research, rebuilding of rebuilding is, of the Jedi which Order. Just some yeah, backstory right. that we have not confirmed. Right. Yeah. The, that Luke was rebuilding the Jedi, so there are potentially other Jedi, but most, yeah. if not all, of them were killed. The, oh, the Kevin J. Anderson series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit, the Hit the button. Hit the button. <laughs> but that killed. means Corian Horn is too because of I Jedi. They, <laughs> nice. So, if I. Uh, got yeah. That's right. They they were killed by Kylo and presumably the Knights of Ren. That's what the flashbacks yeah. seem to imply. Yeah. 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 And then it looked like Luke was the only one left alive because it looked like there were lumps in the mud all around that were potentially. Well, dead he Jedi. waited till Luke left. Is that what it was? I'm assuming. Yeah. I, that was a little cloudy. That all came so quick. And like I said, the movie's so fast paced. Yeah, yeah. See, I got the that idea. When Luke the slow stuff happens, it just kind of whaps well, by. A, a lot of that was in that well, that flashback kind of. The, we did get flashbacks, by the way. Yeah. Right, yeah. We did. But in, in a very yep. powerful, awesome flow-walking. way. They were force visions. <laughs> yes. More or less. So not, that's not, how we can say Not it. flow walking. They were not flow walking necessarily. Well, we don't know that for sure. No, we don't. Flow-walking. But yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I'm honest to goodness, I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of blown away with the treatment of the force in general and the, and how it explored the, for a movie, because for throughout right, all right, the novels right. and comic books and everything that we've had, 
which dive in really deep into the different nuances of the force and the light and the dark and everything. This movie, which was an action movie, pure and simple, uh, yep. really, really, really did a lot to kind of bend those preconceptions. Like I said, the dark force user who's actually being tempted toward the light, meaning are you tempted toward balance? Is there rubber banding? How does that actually mm-hmm. happen? But in this case, that was given to us and it was not explained it was just this is what he's dealing with. He well, wants to be dark. He's been he's been seduced by the you know Snoke, but and, and, and he and hates it, he hates the fact that part of him wants to be light. And if you read Lords of the Sith, which I did not, um, I did. Nor did that, I. This was the exact same thing that Vader was going through. Oh right? yeah, the yeah. exact yeah, same thing. True. And and so it's playing out you know in that the a real similar way. It makes sense. It makes it makes a lot of sense. Well, he is his grandfather, so. And I really liked uh, Kylo Ren. As he wasn't like this all evil guy. He was just a little douchebag. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, and that's like what I love because he like took his helmet off, and then it's all of a sudden it's not it's not like Vader. Yeah, <laughs> we have like three or, four, oh. three or four scenes without his helmet on. He just takes it off. He likes to drop it a lot. Also, heavy, sure. very heavy, <laughs> it, yeah. very heavy helmet doesn't bounce at all. No, it just goes no. kerchunk. It's kind of like the ring in Lord of the Rings. When <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, exactly it is. like that. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't cheesy when we saw his face, which we were. No, all it was afraid. just kind of like oh, okay. He, in other roles, we've seen Adam Driver place perfect cheese, but in this role, he took. Are it you off. speaking for everyone else? Or are you talking about obscure Josh movies that you watched? Isn't it like Gilmore Girls or something? Yeah, like that? that's what I thought. So, <laughs> <laughs> like Gilmore Girls. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I might be wrong on that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no one here can confirm nor deny without bringing up IMDb. I can confirm that he's wrong. <laughs> he's, he's referring to girls, not girls. Gilmore. Girls. Yeah, girls. Josh okay. can't keep all of those shows straight. He watches so many. Uh, just a big CW. The, the, all the, all the binge yet. watching kind of. <laughs> he's also in, in a movie with. Uh, never mind. I can't remember. There you go. Moving on. Good. Hit. Oh, good story. Knocked it out of Thanks. the park. Uh, yeah, I, the, the fact that he was just, he, he wasn't normal. I mean, he was clearly disturbed. You were some, but that's the other thing. Yeah. He wasn't just straight up doing evil stuff. evilly. I mean, Vader was <laughs> redeemed after being a dick for two and a half movies. You know what I mean? Right. Just straight up. But like this dude is like, he's on a mission. He's mm-hmm. he, but he's not. He's he's and like he has he's, a fear he's complex. He's in a struggle. Yeah, yeah he's like the, well, the nerdy on, kid who's trying to fit in. Oh no, no, he was on he's a mission like, oh, cool, to find man. Luke. Yeah, we, we don't know dad. why. No, I'm cool. He right, keeps on throwing guys, these temper guys. tantrums throughout the whole movie, like multiple yeah. times. We see him. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but not on people. All, all the stormtrooper, the stormtrooper, not yeah. on people, uh, not on people. Like, but like although it was implied that it was, it was implied that he had been like that. The the imperial officer was afraid that he was going to kill him, and he when he choked him, but he sets him down, turn around, destroys the console. You know, when he finds <laughs> that Ray's, just, Ray's gone, rather than go start murdering people, he turns around, starts just hacking no, no, the no. crap out of the he walls. He hacks the crap out, then he finds out about Ray, and then he's choking the dude. That's what that's the sequence of events. Well, I'm talking about a second <laughs> time, when Ray escaped from his oh, room. Oh, the second one. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah and the yeah, stormtroopers yeah. stop, and they're like, and they just like, they, go this way Yeah, now. they're coming yeah. down the hall, and they hear his tantrum, and they go, way. you know yeah. what? We're just going to go back the way. There's no way. choking yep. of stormtrooper. He needs a nap. We're going to leave till he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, Kylo <laughs> needs a man. Pretty much. And that's the other thing. Like, so you get the idea that in the First Order, you, you've got kind of like the Emperor Tarkin Vader relationship, where you got Snoke, Hux, and... Uh, and, and Kylo Ren and Hux and Kylo Ren, like Tarkin and Vader, don't really see eye to eye. In fact, there's more animosity between yeah, them than there yeah. even was between Vader and Tarkin, and, at least displayed in the movie. And then on the flip yeah. side of the of the First Order, you have a bunch of traitors. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The, tra- <laughs> the First Order is not the Empire. You no, can tell because the Empire was like, we are in this. We are trained. We are militaristic. We are everybody's. Well, everybody step. who was in the Empire wanted to be there. You yeah, know, they're like, less. this is, yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, but, at least in the movies, that was the impression. They were there to do their duty. In this movie, it's like, I'm here until crap hits the fan and I'm out. Yeah. Like even the sub commander on the, on the sky, on the yeah, star like, killer base is like, I'm right leaving. Here. Get back to your post. Are you even looking out there? So, Hux is gone. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no post to get back to. Peace. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Takes off. Yeah, I'm mad at him. I'm mad at him. Yeah. I, I, Captain Phasma, like, take down the shields. Yeah. Okay. They're like, take down the shields. She's like, why? Because I'll kill you if you don't. <sighs> click, 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 um. click, 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 click. And it was like, wait a minute. Aren't you like the the head, the head BA? We don't what, know what, what she would, is. Mike would say the head Bobby badass. Oh, yeah. Or in yeah. this case, I guess oh, the, the 
Roberta badass. The head right. of all the troopers. I, and but stuff. yet, you know, the one who like totally notices Finn's horsing around after they get back on the starter shore is like, report to my blah, blah, blah. And she's supposed to be really badass, but <laughs> he just points a blaster and goes, take down the shields on this entire super weapon. And she's like, or, okay. or I'll blow that bucket off your I'll head. I'll blow the bucket off yeah, your head. Yeah. Bucket heads. Bucket heads. And she's yeah. just like, she's like, okay, totes. <laughs> that was yeah, it. Uh, here you go. And I was like, well, she's not going to be like, I would die before you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, they couldn't have done something to coerce her a little nope. more. I guess not. She just kind of turns around and says, yeah, I'll take the shields down. It's no biggie. They're just for funsies. Well, anyway. she did make a comment that he's like, you're not getting away. This is, isn't going to work. You guys are stupid. I know. It was a, it was a very, it, it was that kind of a weak there. thing, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when she said it, I was like, oh good. But that was still weak. That was yeah. exactly yeah. what I thought. She was yeah. overly confident in her stormtrooper. Yeah, your confidence in this battle station. Your confidence. Oh, yeah. She was the opposite of Me fire when ready. <laughs> well, she was the opposite of Kylo Ren in that one thing that was terrifying about Kylo Ren is that he clearly has a lot of power. Yeah. And he's entirely unstable. Yeah, no volatile. control. He has like the emotions of a child. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a there's a lot of uh parallels with Anakin. Oh yeah. With him, yeah. and they even oh, said yeah. Leia's words. Leia's words. There's or even no Han's has words. A sweet, juicy, puffy lips. Han's words. <laughs> <laughs> didn't he though? Really? Han's words. He probably words he apple out of the air. He, Han's words were he has so too juicy. much Vader in him. Right. That's what Han says. Leia. He has too much Vader in him. And so it's very clear that that's Vader what they're trying to do. Walk and step, emotionless. But right. But yeah, I don't know. We saw a lot of Adam Driver acting like we only saw Anakin do with like sand people babies. Right. You know, and it, like he was like for a good half of the movie, he was in like Anakin murdering sand, sand people mode where he was just like totally out of control, angry and upset and on the verge of tears and just having a real bad day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So how long, how, honestly, how, what, how long did this movie take place in, in like how long a time was it like 15 know, minutes? Like, no, like, was it like seriously like, like 12 a week. hours? <laughs> I don't think anybody ever slept. There no, was no time no. passing. There was no, and also no, this literally was like max twenty four hour time period. Yeah, yeah. This this movie happened in such a lightning. Now, arguably, so was uh, episode four was in a very brief time period, but there was still at least an overnight at one point in that right. movie. There, had, I don't know, think there was that. I think, and all the well, hyperspace they, they, ships they, were like instantaneous. They had, right, yeah. they had day and night. Yeah. That. That they was, had day and night. You know, they sucked that star out, and it was day, and it became night. <laughs> we made right. a night. <laughs> Hooray! Yay. Yeah, yeah. I noticed was, that too about the hyperspace jumps. They were all like really, really short. Like they're all really, really close. They're all in the same. Yeah, system yeah. System for the sake of mo- keeping the movie going, they kind of had to do that, I suppose. But it's never been done before. It's been established in all previous Star Wars films that in hyperspace, there's time that passes. Right. You know, in the first film, they're sitting around or presumably with the remote, which by the way, there. we saw the remote on the Millennium yeah. Falcon. When, yes. when he's digging through a box, he pulls up a remote, looks at it, tosses it aside. So that was a fun aside, but right. Um, Looks like every, chess. in every movie, when they go to hyperspace, there's time that passes, even when the hyperdrive's broken on the Falcon, but they're going to fly to the, you know, the, uh, to Bespin, they cut back to Luke and time passes, but this movie didn't have a lot of cutting back and forth between characters. And if they were cutting back and forth, the characters were still within a hundred feet of each other. You didn't have multiple storylines going on in this movie, except you had, the good guys and then a little bit of the bad guys and the good guys, a little bit of the bad guys, uh, which is more like how episode four was. But the yeah, the the drawback to that is you have nothing to go to to say time is passing right now. It was literally we're going into hyperspace. We're coming right back out of it again. Yeah, so we truly don't know how much time has passed. We it, know. Could, it could be somewhat of an implied thing, though. You're supposed to assume they're in hyperspace. So time. Yeah, the past, yeah, but they, they didn't did. give you any indication. That yeah, that there was. was it, it felt it felt like that wasn't happening. I, I would say I would. That's going half a step further. I would say it's not that they didn't even tell us. It really <laughs> felt like it wasn't happening. Yeah, well, they didn't want to have to give Ray plus two D and her force sensibilities during that. <laughs> Dude, they gave her plus nine D at the end of this movie. Yeah, right, was, but uh, if you have too much three. time, too much time in the ship, then you you know, can I practice? Blah blah blah. Well, yeah. and she yeah. was already in Kylo Ren's head. Yeah. So, That's true, but yeah, and he's Kylo, really bad at lightsaber fighting. He's uh, better than <laughs> who, who had it, who who did better he learn than Obi Wan in the end. Yeah, that that's the thing is who trained him. Like you yeah. know, he, but he, Finn could hold his own, and he's basically not trained in anything. I wouldn't say he could hold. <laughs> he's his a own. soldier. I he think I think I think bit. Kylo was just 
Kylo wasn't trying Messing. very he was, hard. Yeah, well, no, hard. there was at one point they were hitting each other. They were nicking each other. Finn and Kylo Ren yeah. were both nicking yeah. each other. I think that's because he kind of had like, oh, I got you and had a lapse. In got judgment. a little over confident. Overconfident. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, it was, that was, that was kind of odd. There was a lot more. There was a lot of time in that battle. We all expected, I think, Finn to end up being force, force sensitive. You know, the force was going to awaken. Yeah. That was not a thing in this movie. There was no great awakening of the force across the galaxy that we know of. That had nothing to do with just what's happening rate. with Finn. Finn just got freaked out and didn't want to kill people and left. Right. You know, so. Well, the force awakened in Ray. Yeah. And of course, there is the one point, though, when they're getting ready to they're getting ready to go in and try to rescue Ray and take out the. uh technical MacGuffin on the star killer base and Han's like are you, you know you were a maintenance technician or whatever he's like sanitation, sanitation. sanitation. <laughs> he's like he's like yeah and he's like well how are we gonna do this he's like I don't know we'll use the force that's not how it works right <laughs> <laughs> you're cold I wouldn't have liked it if one of them opened up a lightsaber and was like <laughs> flipping around and stuff I mean we're so used to that in modern film oh someone has a sword now. They're yeah. going to automatically be bad A and they've been training for months to do this and they're going to be flipping around. And, yeah. and it was just people with sticks banging the crap out of each other. And yeah. it had more weight to it than that for me. Well, and that was one of the things that JJ said is that we wanted, we want the lightsaber fights to feel more like the original trilogy than the prequel trilogy because the prequel trilogy had all these like ridiculously, I'm sorry, wonderfully choreographed dance scenes. I'm sorry, lightsaber fights. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I, I honestly cool. no. I loved that stuff at first. I love that stuff at first. But by the time we got to episode three, it honestly felt like, you know, Obi-Wan and Anakin might as well have been waltzing around Mustafar as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> that was sweet. It was I mean, it was like it was like amazing artwork, but it wasn't a fight. They weren't fighting because any like one of them could have just killed the, the other one at any time. The way they were fighting was just so ridiculous right. because they were trying to make it so amazing that it was ridiculous. This is more, and, and JJ said, we want to get more to that but visceral brute strength sword fighting where it's like, it's not finesse. It's just trying to kill somebody. Right. You know, and that's, right. that's I felt like what the, I, I enjoyed that. I felt yeah, like the light, brutal. Brutal. Yeah. I, like, I feel like the lightsabers actually had more of a presence too with the, the lighting that yeah. they, they used. Yeah. Well, this is the first time they've actually had lit lightsabers that they could fight with. We've never had that in a Star Wars movie before. There've always been sticks. Yeah, that were you know originally they were reflective sticks, and then they did the rotoscoping over the sticks, and then you CG in the in the prequels. They actually had uh, fight capable light up lightsabers, uh, you know, rigid form lightsabers, so that they were actually being lit by the blades, which has never been a thing before. And so, and that was one of the advantages to having that giant battle in a dark, snowy forest is that you could see that light on. The, reflecting off the snow reflecting off of their skin reflecting off mm-hmm. of everything in their eyeballs right. oh it was, yeah it was crazy awesome. in their eyes it was awesome it was it was really 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 cool and circling back to you know that in that scene we see uh, once again ray take that final step further into force mode activate you know <laughs> where she's like practically dangling over the edge of a cliff and kylo ren if he'd sneezed would have actually found the strength to knock her off of the cliff and she just just looks at him goes nah uh, no. And then just pushes him and starts beating the ever loving piss. She out closed of her eyes. Yeah. She, she, she yeah. let the force flow through her, if you will. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I and mean, that's yeah. how that works. She's way better at this than Luke was. But then again, Luke was not in a situation where he had to be that way. Well, the, force, was so the right. force has awakened. So maybe we're seeing things progress a little bit quicker than in the past. That's I tell true. you who didn't awaken uh, everybody at the resistance base. Yeah. You kept hearing that uh, star killer base will have the capability to fire in 20 minutes. Nobody's moving. Nobody's <laughs> rushing around. I know. Like uh, star killer base will have the capability to fire in 10 minutes. Leave. Should we leave? You should, should go we evacuate. Nah, There's okay. only like 40 of us here. <laughs> we, <laughs> we should probably just get on a ship and go. Right. Yeah. That was, that was, that was another well, it spot a, where it's a slow moving, you know, Laser. That's they have plenty of time. <laughs> it's yeah. a hyperspace yeah. laser. Once, it, once it, it fires, point. <laughs> all right, it's fired and it's heading our way. All right, I'll pack a bag. I guess. Right. <laughs> you know, where's the lint brush? Oh, <laughs> I on it. Yeah, that, that's that's another where I'm sure we'll get stories and backstories and retconning that actually justifies a lot of these oh, things I'm that were sure. just kind of they're they're not necessarily wrong things, but they definitely seem like weak things or loopholes that I'm sure will all get filled in. Uh, over the course of time, you know, kind of like, you know, Han, you know, well, ran, made the castle run under 12 parsecs and everyone, that's not a thing you can do. 
And then an author, uh, you know, an intrepid author came along and went, <laughs> watch me. And you know, <laughs> turned that whole thing on its head to make it work. That's right. the same kind of thing we'll see with a lot of this stuff. So was it 12 or was it 14? Well, yeah. 12. Uh. Speaking of that, we had so many lines in this movie that were just directly taken from past movies. Did you guys like that? Yes, yes and no. because first off, I don't know that I ever heard anybody say delusions of grandeur. And I don't think I ever heard anybody say this is where the fun begins. But I could be wrong. The movie went really fast. Really, and Han really never fast. said yeah. fly casual. I never said fly casual, even though <laughs> even though he always says that. Yeah, he does. According to Chuck Wendig, he never shuts up about flying casual. But uh I uh, what we did get was this 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 uh what was the line? Uh, oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. You have to have that. Yeah, line, that was right? there. Well, yeah. well and, and none of it seemed like force or like Hey, we take a pause and say the line. Even though I got a bad feeling about this, there were a few laughs and claps in the audience. Like there it was. Yep, found the line. It was almost. It's almost like he said, "Hey, it's we're really in the middle of some Star Wars: The Force Awakens." (laughs) (laughs) Ah, He said it. Said the name. And and Han said, "It's all true." There's the light side, the dark, and wizards. Yeah, yeah, wizards. wizards. Yeah, are you an angel? He totes said that. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. (sighs) That didn't happen at all. It didn't happen at all. So, okay, we could obviously talk about this movie for days, but we're already kind of maxing out our time here. So, do what do we want to do? You want to gotta so much more. I know there's so much more to be said, but we've also got another two years before the sequel to this movie comes out to read, learn, oh, two speculate. Years. That's all right. You get Rogue <laughs> One next year to tide you over. Um, you can go watch Deadpool in a couple months. Okay. 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 Well, fair I'm enough. Good. Yeah. So in the meantime, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to cut us off of the knees. Does anybody have anything they're dying to talk about before we tie this off? No, just some parting shots, but we'll get to that. Uh, I love Finn. <laughs> he's my favorite. That's, that's so great because the toys have been crap and you report on the toys and <laughs> well, the Finn toys are not, always the worst that's ones. That's not true. The ones from Disney. That's true. Yeah. From Disney the ones good. from the Disney store. Are, oh, are I do there. have one actually. What's that? I would have actually liked more Poe. Yeah. You I would have liked more oh, Poe. Yeah, that, that was that such was a great character. Part. Yes, he yeah. was such, and I, I mean, I know. I think we'll get more of him. I, I really like him as an actor. I really do. Like, yeah. I really, really like him as an actor. And I thought it was such weird casting because he is such a good actor to play one of the like dashing hero parts in one of these films. I'm like, that's odd. Also, you know, apocalypse. But I. Yeah, he really plays a, a nasty villain. Yeah, he plays a nasty villain, or like in Lewin Davis, he just played like this guy who just was just loathsome. You know or what I mean? Ex Machina, he just played like a drunk, rich butthole. Yeah, but oh my gosh, he was so enjoyable as like the best pilot in the resistance, but like he's like a total go getter, totally skilled, a bit cocky, but totally nice guy. But yeah, you know that, really- that scene when he's flying around just vaping things. Yeah. And Finn's like, whoa, dude, yeah. check it out. That was awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. one hell of a pilot or whatever he says. Yeah, honest to God, I would have liked more Poe as well. Yeah, I really yeah, I, well, I, I speak still main, hate his name, but I, I would have liked actually, more. Actually, it's growing on me now. I, I think yeah. I'm getting used to it. But <laughs> Yeah, um, it'll be gone in six months. I won't feel a thing. Yeah, it, but I think they, they had to focus on uh, Ray and Finn and Han. Sure. Yeah, the most. I mean, they had to. That yeah, was you got a lot more Han than you, Han and Chewie than you got Obi Wan in the uh, in Episode Four. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah so, you got to make room. So yeah, I think that's the main reason. Is, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, real quick. I yes. Yeah. What do you guys? Do I it. don't know. What do you guys think about R two not showing up really until the last couple minutes of the film? That was weird. R two's just been mothballed in the corner. More, more think, importantly, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Hold on. Okay. I think there's a lot of a lot of questions that need to be answered and that's one of them is like well you know they just said oh he's just kind of been you know depressed basically he went, in, he went into low power mode and hasn't come back out since, and i'm like since Luke, that's what i that's what i thought too i'm like are they saying that r2 is depressed right yeah, that's kind what of the feeling he got so i don't know emo r2 yeah. right but then he uh, at the end he decides to come out of the well, basement you know what's you know, stop playing yeah. world of warcraft for five minutes well doesn't he have to like, like if leia said hey get, Go do stuff. Go polish something. <laughs> yeah, he has to. Well, well no, maybe maybe <laughs> Luke shut him down with the Force and uh, then or him. programmed him to shut down. Or or remember, R two hasn't had his memory wiped in tens of years, so it's entirely possible that his is EU stuff again. If you don't wipe a droid's memory after so long, it starts to degrade, and they they will start developing personality quirks. 
Uh, and that yeah. would actually explain some of the things that 3PO did in this movie. Yeah. 3PO, who did get his memory wiped more than R2, maybe at this point hasn't because he can, he calls Leia princess, erp, I mean general, and then whatevs, and then storms off to his room and slams the door. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't really talked about BB-1, and I'm going to bring BB-8? him up. BB-8? BB-8. BB-8. R2, 3 to P. R two three to P, but he was so endearing and so effective. Of course, yeah. it would have been cool to see him and R two kind of bro out you know, a little more. Yeah, so, like, and I think we'll get some of that in the next movie, which will be nice. And you get a little bit of it at the very end, and and it was endearing whenever BB eight goes up to him. He's like, "Come on, wake up, old buddy," you know. Yeah, but you B- BB eight, especially <laughs> at the beginning of this movie, stole the show so awesome. Oh yeah. That, uh, I guess just to throw in R2 and kind of play off that same thing. Yeah, we love R2, but BB-8 was enough for me Yeah, that I don't, I don't mourn not having. No, yeah, I don't, I didn't need more droids. And you know what? I got to wonder if they were sensitive to the fact that the droids were a little painful in the prequels. These characters that we love did some of the most painful things. 3PO's puns during the Battle of Geonosis. Right. R2 uh, peeing on things and flying around and all that stuff that would kind of rub people the wrong way. They dialed that back. They dialed that way back. So we just had really BB-8 plus ensemble. And we didn't didn't have CGI R2. Right, yeah, yeah no CG R right. two, but then the like BB eight. What do you guys think of his little his little harpoons that he shoots out? And I thought, he, yeah, I thought yeah, everything yeah, about BB eight yeah. was uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, I love got that no guy. No complaints. Even the fact or that girl, he, that, I don't he know. that he flips the bird. I think it's a girl. Yeah. Well, uh, they refer to him as he. Oh, yeah. he was referred to as he. He has been referred to as he. And I think that's all over the the memorabilia and stuff like that. BB eight. Oh yeah. Well, Poe says, "Hey, buddy." Yeah, well, oh, yeah, buddy. but the, the implication was that BB-8 was a female personality character, but it's he all over the place. So I think oh, yeah. that's just kind of a someone had a wishful thought and that's created sexist, a rumor, bro. and 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 it came out the way it did. But uh, yeah, that everything that he did, like including those dorky little harpoons, like just like all right, you're flying as crap. I'm holding on. Patoo, patoo. Right. All right, go ahead, do your <laughs> yeah, thing. Do your thing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a lot of fun. So anybody hey, else? Anything else we want to hit? Jer Bear just got. Got oh. out of the movie. Oh, Jer Bear hey. just got out. Oh, Jer Bear. Oh, my Holy gosh. Caps. We're just getting ready to just sign off. The movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. That's what Jer Bear Is that like. a good oh, my God or a bad oh, my God? Let That's us know. the question. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Overall, our response is overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. Yeah. We, yes. I mean, we are some of the most critical Star Wars fans out there. We will rip anything apart. I mean, I, I, that's my I'm, I'm an analyst. That's my job. You know what I mean? Hey, me too. Yeah. We, <laughs> we will tear stuff apart. But and going into this movie, we all had a lot of reservations. But mm-hmm. at the same time, we came out feeling really, really good about where we're at. So yeah, it, it's it's an amazing. Yeah, I mean, people listen to oh, Fly Casual know that we oh, are not gee. we are not the podcast that just talks about how great everything is. Oh, we're big great. fans. We love stuff, but we will definitely call out the crap. Oh yeah, <laughs> we will yeah. by all means. And there's and there's more of it. And we get we take heat sometimes from listeners for being too critical. But that's we're just telling it like we seize it. And in this case, I feel like I don't. I it feels out of character for me to come out of this movie and being like, yeah, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, really. Good. Do I sound like one of those people that just likes everything? Do I sound like one? I don't want to sound like one of them. Well, I'm I'm kind of a hipster. I don't want to be like that. Well, there was but, there was one last thing that we didn't. I was trying to get us to touch on, but we didn't get to touch on it. Um, was why why was Kylo Ren really so after uh, Skywalker? Vader. Yeah, he really wanted to. Do, did he want to finish to, off to, what he mm-hmm. was trying to do? Snoke, or, that's what yeah, he that's said. the question. Is, is it is it his thing that he's after, or is it something that Snoke has told him he has to do? I mean. And, and again, we haven't really talked about who Snoke is. Snoke has characterized the narrative of Darth Vader in a particular way. Right. And left out the redemption part at the end, which not really many people were around for, granted. But uh, who? Uh, any idea? Did anybody have any, any uh, thoughts about who Snoke may actually be? Voldemort. Mm. Papa Bear. Yeah. I Well, I mean, Papa I don't Bear. necessarily believe this is true, but I am not discarding the potential that Snoke is actually... Palpatine in some form. No, he's beat yeah. up. He's uh, scarred. He's shriveled. He's gross. He's nine feet tall. Him. But I, I'm totally fine. I, I'm I'm saying yeah. I'm 85 percent sure that's not the case. But I'm leaving a 15 percent foot in the door. I'm okay with that. But, yeah, well, they they called him supreme leader. And at the end of um, oh, what's the 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 book? Aftermath. Aftermath. They 
called the person at the end of the book supreme leader right so it kind of leads you to think that maybe that's the same person yeah it um, could be but was it what was interesting is that they before they were in with snoke they called him leader but then when they're in front of snoke they called him supreme leader right so i, I don't mm-hmm. know well nobody's gonna suck up when he's not around right. i mean come on <laughs> right well, so. right that's yeah, I, I, the, the, the character is, is a huge, it's just, it's, it's like Ray's parents. It's just another huge yeah, mystery. Big, big question right. mark. Where we thought we would have some answers coming out. We literally have none. I, I think I solved it. And Garrick hates the character. Oh, you get it all so. figured out? I, I know I who Ray's parents so are. Much. Oh, you know who Ray's parents yeah. are. Right, right. Yeah. You, are you going for Ezra? Are you leaning toward Ezra, Ezra and Sabine. Bridger? Yeah, there you go. Ezra and Sabine shacked up and had a, had a Ray. Yep. I, I like it. it. I like it. Let's go yeah. with it. <laughs> I'm on board. All right. Anybody else got anything else before we tie this one off? My last one is my favorite line from the movie. What's I had that? to think about it. It's when Poe and Finn meet and he goes, is that my jacket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably one of my favorite That's lines. Nice jacket you got is that my jacket? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. It's, it's all right. It suits you. <laughs> what do you say, Josh? I've got a couple things. Okay. Uh, Worst acting performance in the movie, Leia's voice. It was oh, rough. No, they were trying, oh no, I they were, I thought I I disagree. Really? I felt like they were trying to hide the fact that Carrie Fisher talks like this now. It like was she distracting. Almost, yeah, like Carrie Fisher has sort of this like weird accent that she's developed. And in fact, they would cut away from her. You only actually would see her face for maybe 25% of the time when she was talking, they did a lot of her dialogue from behind her head as if her face didn't look right from whatever work she'd had done or something like that. <laughs> it looked like they were actually trying to avoid showing Carrie's Fisher, Carrie Fisher's face a little bit. So I guess yeah, I didn't feel that way at all. I felt like I was almost taken back yeah. to the original <laughs> trilogy. I don't think That's, they could have done I, any better. I, I, I don't think they could have done any better. Than I wish did. they would have brought Billy Lord in just to voice over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was yeah. there. She was. She was. She had a line. Yeah. She does. She does sound old. She doesn't sound like you know Carrie Fisher of you know the original trilogies. But I felt like I was taken back there. Yeah. So two out of three. John Boyega, Boyega and Daisy Ridley <laughs> are two of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. <laughs> Their skin is flawless, okay. and you know because the camera's like up in their face so All up much in their biz. this is not a this is not a waist to head movie like the original trilogy or the episode four was yeah this is like like it at right at the start of the film bb8 is like two-thirds of the screen just completely <laughs> right up in it and you're like oh it's gonna be one of those yeah so hey, they, will, they will have beautiful children for episode 10 they will, they will <laughs> yeah. Have, yeah, the, yeah the next trilogy will feature their gorgeous children yes <laughs> so name jason and jana <laughs> <laughs> and mara <laughs> is that it and mara. Yeah. yes all right well then third, let's go ahead wait, third and final oh, thing. oh geez. <laughs> geez here we go I like Josh, wow. yes that's it but third and final thing we've been discussing a star wars movie for almost two hours and we haven't really talked about luke skywalker what do you guys think about the fact that he was just barely in the end of the movie loved it fine with it go Great. i'm okay with it I would have liked I to have heard his. I would have liked to have heard his voice once. I would have liked to him to say one line, like one word. Yeah, you could hear him through his looks. No, I will mm. say, I will say, yes. he looked awesome when he turned around, and pulled the hood down. Yes, he did. It's like, yeah, oh my holy chills, crap! Man. You look more Luke than you've ever looked I, ever of of the three original cast. You he mean, is Kaluk? way oh, yeah. far <laughs> better looking. <laughs> he's held up well. He's held up uh, as far as in the for, in the movie. Well, he's younger than Harrison Ford and, yes. and, and supposedly snorted a lot less coke than Carrie Fisher. <laughs> well, Harrison, so Harrison was Ford did have a noticeable accident. old man limp. Yeah. When he came back from his broken ankle. You, you could kind of see it. Harrison Ford was... He, he did, was great, he, though. He was great. He was he, so good. He was looking his age. Yeah, and honestly, our complaints about Carrie Fisher, notwithstanding, they did what they had to do to get the film where they wanted it. She did great. Yes. Everybody, oh, yeah. everybody did great. Yeah. There's no, there's no one in the cast other than Greg that I complain. I have any complaints about whatsoever. JJ's yeah. a good director. I mean, we can only hope that the next people who pick up that baton... Do it well. Yep. And there's there's some good talent already lined up. Was uh, Gareth Edwards is the next one? Do I have that right? What? In the main? Yeah. In the main? In in episode eight. Okay. <laughs> the, looper dude, here. the looper guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rain. Yeah. Rain. 
Whatever. Yeah. We don't. We don't have Mike here to bet to to verify all of our facts. That dude. That Mike who's, things. Mike well, who's probably starting the movie right around now because he decided <laughs> after his kids uh, recital tonight uh, Christmas pageant that he couldn't wait. <laughs> he's, he's like, there right I'm now. Take, I I'm a text him. Movie. I'm a text him when we're done. I'm ruining it for him. <laughs> so, Do it. Yeah, he said there's a 3 a.m. show, and I'm what. 3 a.m. Yeah. I hope I'm going to those... text him. Can you believe that it's moon early. fell on Chewy? I know. That's who to know. <laughs> that's the one thing they kept from the EU was Chewy murdered by a moon. He'll be waiting for it. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Uh, is that it, Josh? Uh, there's a lot more I could say, but I'll, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> hold on to it because the conversation is going to continue. And if- we hope you enjoyed this special edition of Fly Casual. If you haven't already, please subscribe and rate us at iTunes, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast locations. It is important that you rate us so that we can reach more and more people. As always, be sure to check out the show notes at betterkind.com. There are also many, many ways to join in on the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Fly Casual 1138. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Fly Casual Podcast. We are also now on YouTube, so please take a moment right now to subscribe and ding the bell for updates. We are also now on Discord as well. Lots of opportunities to chime in. Reach out and say hi. Talk to you soon.